Welcome back. We're in Natchitoches at the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame, and I'm joined by one of the inductees this year, Paul Bird. Paul, just what does it mean to you going into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame this year? As a little kid growing up in Louisville, Kentucky, I did not foresee this coming, you know, but I, I went to LSU to go to warmer weather in a baseball school, and uh, I, I still say I carried the girl, Kim Yip, out of New Orleans, met my wife here, I stole the girl. Um, won a World Series here and uh, learned so much at LSU that propelled me in a, a big league career. So to see these other people that I'm going in with, to see my name up on the wall, see pictures, uh, it's gotten me choked up a number of times. Talk about Skip Bertman. What did he mean to your career? He taught me how to think. He was a great motivational speaker and talked about believing in yourself. And that's the number one thing I think when you're pitching is that you believe in yourself, your pitch, whatever you pick, and you throw it. And so he taught me how to think more than anything else. And that was invaluable. You got to do a lot of things. Uh, won, won a lot of playoff or a couple of playoff games. Um, just w what are some of the memories you have of, of playing Major League Baseball? And I. I lived a great life. You know, it's not over, but the journey was phenomenal. Uh, I wasn't the best player. I didn't throw 100 miles an hour like a Ben McDonald, but I survived. Through some arm surgeries, I was able to stick around. Uh, my wife has moved us 54 times. I have two incredible boys. And, um, you know, it was, it was a great time, great journey, and I've loved everywhere I played and had some cheering sections for me when I played, again, even though I wasn't the best. So that's kind of what stands out. I was able to make the All-Star team in 99, and. Uh, went over 100 games, and I'm just very thankful that I was able to get the most out of this arm that hurt a lot of times. Tell me a little bit about what it's like for you stepping off the field and into the broadcast booth. How, how, how has it been different for you? Um, I've enjoyed the challenges. You know, because you take a good interview in the locker room doesn't mean you're going to be a good broadcaster. Um, I've had to learn how to get in, get out, make my point. I've messed up a ton on camera. You, you can't panic when you mess up. Little things like that that I've learned that you already knew, uh, I didn't. And so I've had to learn you know, on the fly. But it's been, again, another career that I've enjoyed a lot. And I've got to cover some fun teams, communicate my passion. And you know, uh, Peter Gammon said, be yourself, communicate your passion. And then Chip Carey said, you can be anything but boring. And so I remember those things and I say, OK, let's let's make sure everybody knows baseball's fun. No one to teach, no one to get out of there, be quiet, no one to be funny and no one to um, represent a player and not try to control the interview and just uh, ask them questions that aren't leading questions that allow them to represent themselves. Paul, thank you so much for doing this and congratulations. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.